Assalamu alaikum. Mr. Moderator, our distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, our friends and, and our enemies. Bismillah wa salatu wa salam rasulullah wa ba'd. In the name of Allah, and may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon his last and final messenger as to what follows. Family, friends, foes, haters, and hateds, welcome back to the features. I greet you all in peace and love with no hatred in my heart. As-salamu So before we begin, please like, subscribe, and share. Hit me up on Patreon. As you know, we got a lot of haters up in here. So the last few videos I did on my channel, I did a uh, few reaction videos to a debate you could say between Sheikh uh, Uthman Farouk and Sam Shamoon Anthony Wood and and uh, oh, sorry Sam Shamoon Anthony Rogers and David Wood so uh, the reaction I got uh, from these reaction videos was actually very positive you people reached out to me on my private line saying you know I should keep up this type of work but I mentioned before even several times on my channel that I don't want my channel to become a Dao channel and the reason is it's because the online Dawa scene is a complete and total disaster okay it's a mess it's like a it's a crap show the online Dawa scene you know however because the response was so positive and I did mention that Sheikh Uthman Farouk was one of the five YouTube uh, personalities that I actually, uh, you know, watch and endorse. I only endorse five. I don't endorse anybody else, right? And people kept asking me, you know, who else do you do? Who else do you endorse? Who else? Who else do you like? And so I'm going to give you these five that I personally, uh, in the English language, I think that are the best YouTube channels in English for Islamic knowledge. Right, but again, I don't want the reason why I never actually publicized this is because I don't want this to turn into a debate or a big thing, or you know what I mean? Like, I don't like this whole online stuff is just it's really you know counterproductive, you know, when it comes to Dawa. All these online Dawa channels, I, I find the most of them are, are destructive. That's my personal opinion. It doesn't mean that there are other. Uh, Islamic channels that that are are you know not as good as the five that I like, but I like I have you know certain criteria and like you know they have to have like some sort of Islamic training. They have to be uh, consistent. They have to um, provide something to the community at large. Like these these are just some of my criteria. You know when people are are going out. And just a regular person making street dawa, right? It's street dawa, right? But um, they, they, it, like, there's a difference between a, like a, a personality, somebody who's just doing it, who's a popular personality, and somebody who actually has real knowledge, right? So I make like real Islamic knowledge one of my conditions. You understand? So I don't want this to to, to seem like some sort of facetious attack against other Dao channels or you know what I mean it's it's not like that it's just that these particular five channels are the ones that I recommend for English speakers that's it I don't want to debate who's good and who's not good you understand <laughs> all right so let's get into it so my top five picks for Islamic knowledge learning and dawa channels in no particular order so we're going to start with uh sheikh uthman farooq which uh, i mentioned before already he was one of my top five and the reason why i like him is because first of all he studied as i mentioned before i did post uh, his his uh, bio and the other uh, reaction videos so you can check that out and he's extremely active in teaching and dawa so he has his team his youtube team and they basically record his classes and his uh, his dawa his street dawa and as far as i know he's the only sheikh that i know that actually goes on out on the street and makes street dawa a lot of the people who are making street dawa are basically 
you know, the regular people, right? But he is the only sheikh that I know, and I know of, maybe there are other sheikh that do it on a regular pay basis, but he's the only one I know of that is an actual learned scholar, right? Masters in hadith that is on the streets on a regular basis recording his dawah programs and making it available for the people. So he has, um, he's on two YouTube channels that I know of. Uh, and I know I know there's another one, but I, I can't remember. I know these ones are the ones that I, I subscribe to. Maybe somebody can, can post them, right? So he has Masjid Ribat, right, where it's mostly his classes and, you know, different topics, you know, about books and whatnot. He has comprehensive classes on here, series and whatnot. And that's Masjid Ribat, right? And he has another one, which we, he records all of his street dawah, which is called One Message Foundation. Right, so this is one where you know Sam Shamoon and them, <laughs> you know, uh, David Wood and and Anthony Rogers got lamb blasted on. Right, and he put the whole thing out there. Pick number four is Sheikh Abdullah Hakim Quick. Now, up until last year, I didn't actually have him on my list, right? Because one of my conditions is that you know you have to be consistent, but he's been very consistent since last year um, posting material and it's all amazing stuff. I don't know how many of you are, are familiar with the Sheikh, but you know, he was one of our mentors back in Toronto and he's obviously, you know, he's studied from uh, Medina University. He's got his PhD in African studies and his insights on, you know, what's happening in the real world and applying it Islamic, Islamically is absolutely second to none. Like the way that he can break down uh, real world situations and apply it to Islam, like it's it's very rare to find somebody like this who can ar articulate um, you know modern day issues as well as the Sheikh, right? And furthermore, he has a way about him as well. Like the way that he delivers is is such a respectful way like you can't help but to be because he's very articulate and you can't help but to be drawn in to um what he's saying you know what i mean and even even if you're an opponent you'll, you'll just like be drawn into what he's saying because he does it in such a respectful way he's and he's he never gets in, in self involved in like you know controversies at all right so but uh, he is my number one four pick. I've been, you know, following the Sheikh for a very, very long time, and he does a lot of um, historical stuff and modern day stuff, and applies it Islamically. And he also gives his ideas for solutions for the Ummah as well. Pick number three for me is uh, Muhammad Mufti Manir, and. Is, is gathering a lot of steam amongst the young people, the youth and whatnot. And he has studied at Medina University, has his master's from Uni Medina University. And the, re the reason what makes, him, what makes him unique is he answers a lot of uh, fatawa, which is something that is kind of rare in the West, right? He answers uh, a lot of questions. Like people will, will pose questions to him and he, he just answers them, you know? So this is something that, this is a service which is much needed in the West. And as well as, you know, if you go on his, his uh, YouTube channel, it's called Hadith Disciple, right? And he has classes there. He has a lot of um, uh, Q&A, many, many Q&A um, ses sessions, which is a very valuable uh, service to have, especially in the West. And he answers some very uh, difficult questions as well. Next, we have Sheikh uh, Tahir Wyatt, and the name of his YouTube channel is called Wyatt's Wisdom. Now, Sheikh Tahir Wyatt has got a PhD from Medina University. He's somebody who is heavily endorsed by the ulama of Medina. And th this Sheikh, right, whenever I hear him speak, I always have to get a pen and a paper to write down what he's saying. Even if I'm just trying to like listen, listen casually, because it's it's impossible to listen to Sheikh Tahir without carrying something back. You will learn something, right? I've I've just listening from his lectures casually, just casually listening to his lectures, 
right? I've learned three du'as from the from the sheikh, from the sheikh, just him only, right? And I've taught my children these du'as that I learned from listening to the sheikh only, right? Because every lecture you listen to him, you are going to carry something. He has this way about speaking that makes you enthusiastic about practicing Islam and you know, he, he, the way he speaks increases your iman, you know? He kind of reminds me of the 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 kind of, sort of like the English version of Sheikh Abdul Razak Bader, right? So I, I highly re recommend uh, his, his stuff, especially for people who uh, who are looking to increase their iman and, and trying to, you know, follow Islam, you know, you know, closely and these type of things. And last but not least on this list is Sheikh Ukasha Kamini. Now, Sheikh Ukasha Kamini, he has uh, many ijazat for recitation of Quran, but in my humble opinion, nobody can get you, I mean, no, maybe there are people in the world that can get you enthusiastic in the Quran, but nobody has gotten me as enthusiastic about reading, reciting, memorizing Quran as Sheikh Ukasha Kamini. The way, he has a way about him and describing the Quran and and he's so enthusiastic about the Quran that it's it's that enthusiasm is uh, it's it's contagious you know what I mean whenever you listen to him and, and his lectures and and the way he encourages people to you know memorize Quran and and recite and these type of things right uh, it's, 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 it's difficult to describe, really. You, if you don't know who he is, I strongly suggest you check him out. His YouTube channel is called Hers Institute. Uh, you know, and I pick him specifically because obviously Quran's, Quran is, you know, the single most important book in Islam. And it, he encourage you, encourages you and gives you confidence in reciting the Quran. And he has the uh, you know, he has produced many uh, who follow the Quran with, uh, you know, his teaching, right? So that is uh, number one. But like I said, it's, it's no particular order, <laughs> right? It's just, these are my top five picks. Anyways, these are my top five picks for Islamic knowledge and and Dawah uh, YouTube channels, right? And I, as I said, I have a criterion, you know, they have to be the people have to be studied and learned and, you know, um, have to be consistent, you know, have to provide something for the community. And all these channels, as I said, they, they provide something unique uh, for the community. So uh, feel free to leave comments and and if you have any suggestions for any other uh, YouTube Islamic knowledge or Dawah or channels or things of this nature, Right, that fulfill these criteria, right? So we can share them in the English language, inshallah. Right, and don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and hit me up on Patreon.